Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Hades 2. We're jumping in again and we finished off the last episode dying to the boss on the second floor a couple of times. A very interesting siren based music boss. I really liked it but we're going to jump in again and see what we can do this time. We've got a few things to do in our crossroads home base and I think we have enough of the different currencies to unlock some of the weapons, the alternate weapons which I'm really excited for. So let's speak here to our little ghosty friend and see what she has to say. Ever think maybe we're just not cut out for this now? Me with the haunting, you with the... What are you trying to do again? Kill Kronos! Find the titan of time. Punish him for his crimes against my family. Restore the rightful ruler of the underworld. Hey, you're cut out for haunting, Dora. Oh, thanks. Just like I'm sure you're cut out for all that other stuff. I'm hopefully so I am. Okay. Let's carry on around the crossroads, see what we can do. We've got another one of these incantations to go for, and of course, we can speak to our headmistress. Head Kronos, first beyond Erebus in the guise of an old man. He then attempted to ensnare me in some vision out of time. <clears throat> the river of flame, everything ablaze. Still your heart, Melinoi, you're safe. And you were able to return again, which means that all your training served you well. So... So he I wonder if you realized who I am, yeah. I broke free from his spell like it was second nature, but neither could I raise a hand against him. What must I do now? Push forward. Nothing has changed. You're to confront him down where he resides, where your mother and father rightly ought to be. But go with patience, not with haste. He may know something of your power now, yet not enough. Let's hope so. Right, let's see what we can do in here. I've had these in my head for long enough. Okay, good stuff. Right. So, we can do the Fated Intervention, which is the um, the three fates to lend their aid in a time of great need. We've got, uh, after encounters, become alerted to any nearby valuable resources. That seems pretty useful. Um, create two soil plots for growing... Um, ooh, interesting. We can grow stuff. Um, and updated, uh, um, update the Wretched Broker's inventory with exotic goods suitable for gifting. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I think I'll go for that. That seems good. In fact, I think I can get all of these. Good, good, good. This is essentially where I w upgrade our home base, isn't it? Right, I think we're going to just grab all of these, to be honest. Let's begin. We did trade one silver there, though, which I didn't actually mean to do. My bad. It's okay, though. No effect. Interesting. Nothing. They didn't listen. Very weird. Grab that as well. Hear me, Selene, if you so desire. Aid me in finding that which I require. <laughs> it rhymed, lovely. And then we got the one last one, the dirt patch. We'll go for that as well. We can take a look at some of the other ones here as well. I think these are the ones that we already have. So where's this uh, soil patch going to appear then? Together, let us shape reality. Let's go have a little look around, shall we? Such sorcery. There you go. There it is. I'm glad that it showed us. Very nice. Right, let's go to that first, and we'll come back to you. Let's plant that. There you go. You look as though you've seen a ghost. Hello. Forgive the very antiquated mortal I kind of have. We kind of have. So we'd say to someone looking disconcerted. Everything's all right? Yes and no. I saw Kronos out there. I thought he had me, but I broke free from his spell. This was in Oceanus, though I also caught him snooping near the pathways out of Erebus. Damn it. Our reports said nothing of the sort, but then... Some of our shade informants haven't yet returned. We had expected Kronos to stay put in the lowest reaches. You must have caused enough of a stir to catch his notice. I've hardly been discreet in my approach. Is there truly no other way? Doesn't seem like it. I reckon not. We're counting on him thinking you're inconsequential to his plans. As for our own, I shall go over this with the good witch. Be safe, and cheers for the report. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to ask as well, how, like, in terms of you guys watching this series, how many of you are into sort of the lore aspect of the game and want to hear all the voice lines and stuff? And also, how many of you are, like, playing the game yourself alongside me here? It'd be interesting to know. Um, as I said, I want to kind of do this series a little more often if people are into it, and so I might start bringing question of the day and things like that into this. Oh, so I can gift to you as well. 
Interesting. Let's give it to you, shall we? Nemesis, maybe we could start again. Here, I got you something. Don't need your charity, princess, or temptations while I'm on duty or off. You're doing this because you want something from me anyway, so here, knock yourself out. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. The Nemesis. evil eye. I wonder how I get how I equip my keepsakes. You passed her a little test that time. Must have felt so good beating her ass to the ground. Don't get to spar with her, so I can only imagine. It was We're not just sparring. You don't know our craft. Right, right, where where do I equip my keepsakes then? After ever scheming Kronos claimed of the House of Hades, shades of the dead residing there, all scattered to the ends of the earth. You shades are welcome here and safe. We've got whatever this is, the fate fabric. And we got our nectar here as well. What is this fate's fabric? Here you are. I'm not sure, but I'll take it. I'll take some of that as well. Be well. Right, where do we equip our keepsakes exactly? I'm guessing that'll be in the next area, right? Let's go through and find out, shall we? Well, first of all, we've got some of this to be doing. I never realised. Okay, cool. Um, we've, we've not got much ash or all of them, so for now, let's just equip that. Ready I like the limitations on that, it's cool. Ah, here's our keepsakes, okay. My keepsakes. Okay, so, deal 20% damage to the last fur that vanquished you. Ooh, that's interesting. And then we've also got the Everlasting Ember. A boon of Hestia is likely. You can rarify her common blessings once this night. Let's give that a go, shall we? Let's see what's going on here. I think we can afford to buy a, a new so weapon. Cool. We can actually get either one of these two. We can go with the Sister Blades or the Umbra Flame. In fact, we can get both, I think. So I think I'm going to do exactly that. Join with me. Sister Blades unlocked. Sister blades. We're fellow sister I really like the idea of the Sister Blades. And then we can also get the Umbra Flame as well. Ignium, the Umbra Flames. Incinerate my foes and light my path. Okay, so let's let's go with this first. Ooh, very, very quick attacks. A special long range sort of throw and slice. Circle's still the same. We could do a dash strike. It's X then square. Ooh, okay. Nice, that's good. We can do this, which isn't actually the same, okay? I didn't realize these would be different as well. Okay, it kind of like also locks onto an enemy when we do that. Look, I could be over here aiming that way, auto locks onto him. Um, and that's that's different as well. And then, so is this going to be different at max level, or is that the same? Like, I think that's mostly the same. I understand you ventured to the bottom of the sea. I too have been there in those depths, young one. But once, a while back, and briefly, I might add. Of course. You were a famous mariner in your mortal days. But then you finally met your end beneath the waters upon which you sailed? Nah, Indeed. It was way more glorious than that. Ignium. Let's see these flame attacks. Okay, so these flame attacks are purely a ranged attack, which is interesting. Then, if we do a hold, holding's the same. So we've got triangle for our special. Ooh, whoa, that's interesting. And we can hold that for two of them at once. This is a really interesting weapon set, this. Again, that's the same, I think. Sprinting here is a bit different, and then... Ah! Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I think we're going to have the Sister Blades this time around, but I'm glad we got that unlocked for next time. Let's, uh, let's go out and see what we can do with these. But with a different weapon... Things are bound to be different for us. I'm, I'm excited though. Ooh, Moonlight, what is this? She's deviated from her path. Great Titaness, the eye of night. I draw you down. Lend me your might. What is this? Good evening to you, little Selena. Our cycles now are intertwined, as I no longer can afford merely to watch. Whichever threat we face, I vow to shine for you. This is very interesting. Okay, completely new here. 
Your Hex launches a Seeking Projectile that inflicts Morph onto 10 susceptible foes. Ooh, damn. Okay, after using enough mana while foes are near, press R2 to invoke the Moon's Might. Um, of course, Afflicted Foes turn harms critters for 8 seconds. This Hex has no special powers, the sheer might of the Moon shall have to suffice. Your Hex makes everything else move slower for 5 seconds. Um... And your hex fires a beam that deals damage over three seconds, ready after 120 mana. Hex has the most potent. It gains plus two upgrades from your next path of stars. Let's give this a go, shall we? Seems interesting. Together we shine. So this is like a special power. It's gonna be good against bosses, that. But we only get to use that after spending so much mana. Okay. That kind of gives us more of a reason to use mana. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like having more reasons to uh, use our resources here. You dare. That seems really good for doing a bit of AoE. Okay, good stuff. I like the way that we can get a bit of slow down there while we're charging up. It's really nice. We'll go for the flame. Ooh. Thank you. Making me aware of that there. I really like that. That ability to have them being sort of seeked out for you. Really, really nice. To be fair. Yeah, this is honestly just using it spammable. Pretty good. I'm looking forward to seeing a Daedalus hammer with this new weapon. Obviously, we've got a little less range, but a lot more attack speed with this. And we do get a Hestia. Interesting. Your attacks inflict Scorch seems pretty good. Your specials inflict Scorch and rapidly uh, restore mana. Ooh, oh, we can rarify as well. Ah, I like that. Okay, definitely going to go for that. Especially considering I kind of accidentally rarified it, not knowing what that meant. Oh, our attack looks cool now. Okay, let's get out of the way of all these attacks and just get in there and... Add Scorch onto everything. I like that. Ooh, that enemy kind of died passively there. I think Scorch... Scorch deals damage to them when they attack. Once I've applied Scorch to an enemy, you see there's a yellow health bar on them. And that means that when they next attack, they take damage. So if I do this here, you'll break your own armor, yeah. And you take damage over time as well. Okay, that's... Scorch seems really, really strong. I'm liking that. More mana seems good. Could make a run for it. What's, what's going on here? Oh, I can just leave. Nah. I'm going to see what's in here. It seems interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking this place. I can just leave that guy and he'll die. It's good that I know when they're going to die. Yeah, I can kind of get in there, break their armor, then leave. Get away. I'll just get a bit of extra for grabbing all of those. Nice, and we could go for Demeter. I think sort of the flame and ice combo seems interesting to me. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. So this is like an enemy where I've got to get in there and... What's all these little roots here? Oh, god damn, that was a good hit on you. I'm guessing I've got to very much make sure I'm out the way of those roots. Okay, so I think I can leave you for now. Who are you? Oh, uh, you're the one that's, the, that's flaming all those roots about. Is there another one of you? Yes, there is. Okay. My bad. Didn't really understand what I was up against there. Okay. Nice. Different mini-boss than the first time. I like the fact that there's multiple. I was certain you were gone. 
Scarce born, only to be taken by Kronos, along with my daughter and those nearest her. But the Witch of the Crossroads got you out of there, did she? Indeed. How could she not send word? I could switch boons. Ah, that's a switch. Okay. Uh, we don't want to switch. Your cast repeatedly deals damage in an area. Um, yeah, that seems good. Yeah, let's go for that for now. Greater might. We've only got one way to go here. Let's try and use our casts a little more here, shall we? Especially now we have an upgrade. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Even just, like, a regular usage of it freezes them, so... Pretty damn good. I need the one where I can move while I'm using it, though. That makes it really goddamn good. More ashes is good. Yeah, let's go for more ashes, shall we? Starting to get to the point we need more of those. I want to just unlock all the death defies as quickly as I can. That, That's really, really useful. Yep, I hear you, I hear you. Bugger off. One remains. Yep, don't want to deal with these whalers. Definitely need some more HP here, please. Oh damn, what the hell hit me then? Try to use as much mana as I can to get my thingy ready for the boss. I don't know, I'm finding this weapon a little a little harder to use at the moment, but we're getting there. Definitely taking more damage at the moment though. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but it is a bit tricky. Damn. I'm really not a big fan of her, her of her charge up triangle. It's not very strong at all. You do more damage single target look. Like a good amount more. I guess you get, obviously get multi targets there, but. Go out of mana here. You can still pop that down though and get some freeze going, even without mana. I like that. It's very useful. More ashes, lovely. Go with a pom here, I think that makes sense. Yeah, you're gonna freeze yourself right inside. I keep getting hit by these guys after they've finished their attack. They clearly have some sort of delay on their attack there. I think it, it happened again. I think it's something to do with freezing them. Yeah, I think freezing them causes some issues with their hitbox. I don't know if that's a bug or that's just intended how they were. I'm going to have to uh, keep my distance. Oh, dude. This might be a very quick restart here. I'm, I'm having trouble with this weapon. Sitting used to this is a bit difficult. Go to the shop. More of that, thank you. Definitely want that, and we'll go with that as well. We have to reach you, Hello, Apollo. And Charon's been more than keen to oblige. Bit of an odd fellow, but then aren't we all? Indeed. Um, special deals damage in a larger area. That's pretty good. Sprint is faster, inflicts days. The sprint is pretty good. After you take damage, ooh. let's go with the taking damage one. I don't take that very often, but I'm taking a lot of damage right now. You'll see that it's disposed of properly, Lord Charon. Right, boss time. Not super confident going into this boss here. Prompt as ever. Indeed. I'll get him, headmistress. I swear it. All that you've taught, I'll bring to bear. And no matter the obstacles that stand in the way, Kronos shall fall by my hand. I require no convincing, Melinoel, although perhaps you do. One moment, I have to pause after this. However much I've taught, what's important is you're a capable student. Right, we're back, sorry about that. Okay, let's continue on and see if we can do decently in this fight, but I'm not convinced, I'll be honest. I'm not convinced. 
Good thing is we got some range damage going on, so we can do some pick damage from a distance. And this burn seems like it'll be pretty good as well. Oh yeah, the burn damage is actually amazing. Wow, holy hell. That's way more than I thought it'd be. It's a little difficult to make sure we get in there and get the damage and get out, but damn. This burn damage is incredible. I can keep slow-mo going with this as well, which is kind of nice. I can just keep charging this to keep slow-mo going. That's actually super useful to know. I like that. It'll tell me who it's going to go for as well. Y'all ready for this? Okay, I'm liking this, this setup now. I'm understanding it a bit more now. Okay, not you. Not you. You. Did take a little bit of damage there, but... Oh god. And a bit more. Okay. Don't, don't get hurt by that attack. That'd be stupid. Oh damn, that didn't hit. What? Okay. Gotta be way more careful. Okay, I've run out of mana now anyways. It's the one in the middle. Okay, gonna turn me into a goddamn chicken. Okay, you can dodge that. Good to know. I've still got to use 20 more mana to use my special ability, so I've missed out on that for the boss, unfortunately. Okay, we got all three of them now. Got the right one here, good. Just build up the flame. It just keeps going and going and going, it's great. Not you. It's you, okay, good. I think we've got to the point now where we can kill this boss every time. Got him. There you go. I did take nine damage at the end there, which I really shouldn't have taken, but... It's okay, we're learning. These early runs will be short. Good, good, give me some of that. So will we see Kronos again here? Or is he gone now? Oh no, he's still there. You even found your way back from your detour in Asphodel. How dare you. Kronos. Indeed. Damn you. Oh shit. Help you now. He has a health and bar. Stop. It is a pity that this granddaughter of mine is both a weakling and a fool, though an elusive one. I ought to thank the fates that we have met at last. The Indeed. Fates nothing to do with this. You took my family. Our family. Make not to their same mistakes, and in time, we surely shall grow past this halted start to our relationship. I shall see you later. Okay, he had a health bar for a brief moment there, which is kind of spooky. Right, let's see what we can do. I definitely want more boons here, and some more palms of power, because I think this burn could stack up to some insane levels. No, oh, she's God. gone. Okay. This helps, because we no longer have to deal with her, uh, her sort of curse she puts on us. We just kind of let those enemies do their thing. Oh man, I really like this, this weapon now that I've got the hang of it. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, we got a pommel power at least here, it's good. More Scorch. I think I'm going to go for more Scorch. Honestly, the Scorch damage seems amazing. This is tricky because we definitely need more HP. I think I'm going to have to go more HP. I do like the fact that armored enemies have like a sort of an addition to their attack. 
Oh, I, I didn't realise there was that spout of, uh, of air there doing damage to me. Oh, man. I just took some absolutely abysmal damage. Yeah, that was really stupid damage there. That's not good at all. Here's a Daedalus. I'm very excited to see the Daedalus here because this is all new to us. Oh, I think there was a. I think there was something I could have mined back there that I missed. Yeah, all these guys are dazed now that I've taken damage. Enemies like this are the ones that aren't as easy with uh, this setup. In fact, so not easy that I'm getting absolutely destroyed by them. God damn. These enemies were so easy the first time I saw them. Okay, Daedalus, what can you offer us? Your special returns to you and deals 50% damage to first strike from behind. In each encounter, your Omega attack um, gains 5 power for each foe you slay with it. Ooh. Damn. Your special is 40% damage and... Um... Your special fires 16 shots around you. Ooh, that seems interesting. Let's go for that. Feels even sturdier. Yeah. Oh, okay. As much as I'm not a massive fan of that one, I think that's pretty cool. Let's go for this for, to get our armor or whatever it ends up being. Just, damn. So, what you got for us, good me. sir? I have one rule, and that's look, but don't touch, okay? This guy definitely sounds like a Nick Cage <laughs> impression. <laughs> and also tell me how come you keep showing up like this. I've some affairs to settle in the lower reaches of the underworld. Thought I'd take this rather scenic route through this chamber of yours. Oh, it isn't my chamber. I just find the waters here particularly clean and reflective. And far fewer would-be suitors than an asphodel. Remember to take a gift before you go. Thank you. Uh, anything that gives me HP. Ooh, that's pretty good. Extra mana. I think I'm gonna go for this last one here. Regards. Very nice. Thank you. Right, Pom. Oh my god. Okay. That's not that good, actually, but it's it's cool looking. Yeah, it, it does, like... I need to get, like, upgrades going for that for it to be good, because it does, like, not much damage at all. If it could hit mul like an enemy multiple times, it'd be pretty good, but it can't. Oh, dude, you with your armor. Bugger off. Certain enemies are uh, clearly quite difficult for us here. Good thing about using that more often, though. Gets us closer and closer to our uh, special ability, which I really want to use in the boss. I'm not going to have much health to use it with the... Careful of these guys again. Oh man. Very, very difficult to dodge those guys' attacks. And these things, I absolutely bloody hate them. Pom, what you got for us? More Scorch damage. Yes, please. I'm just going to keep upgrading that. More health. I can't go for a mini boss here either, to be honest. I don't think I can do a mini boss. Ooh, interestingly enough, I can deal good damage to these guys while they're out of their shell. Oh, I've just noticed the the mana thing. I, I'm never going to be able to use it because I only have 100 mana and it requires 120. And you have to get 120 mana used in one room. Okay, so unfortunately, I need to build towards being able to use that. I didn't realize. I thought it was just 120 mana overall. It's every room. That makes things more difficult. <laughs> Definitely. These ones are locked. I'm going to unseal this to see what this means. Cool. Okay, what does this what does this mean then? Okay, it's literally just another option. 
I'm going to unseal them all and see if that does anything in particular. I don't think it will, but... Come on, one of you. Pop your head up. Okay, I mean... I guess at this point we want to take some more mana so we can actually utilize that special ability, right? Okay, well that's going to be a big boom. Oh, they actually do run away from that now. That's new. The traps and stuff before, they used to just not give a shit. Yeah, I want to get a charge up on my on my uh, square attack that's got some AoE. So at the minute, it's a single target. It's good, but it's single target. It's kind of good for, like, traversal, though. Like, getting around the room, you can launch yourself quite far into another enemy. I just wish these guys would explode, like, and deal damage to each other. It's kind of a shame they don't. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, these two are dead now. Good, good, good. Get some more mana, good, good. Okay, shop again. We want to go for shop for HP. There was more mana there, though. Could have gone for that. HP, thank you. Demeter. Changing that over isn't ideal. Um... Remaining uh, inactive for one second, we restore. That's pretty good. After you enter a location, prime a barrier that absorbs one instance of damage. That's 20 prime magicka, though. We don't really want that. Let's go with that. Been able to regen while we stand still. Okay. Boss time once again. Not super enthusiastic, but our health isn't terrible right now. Hello once again. Huh? You know, I thought the sirens were supposed to be the singing ones. But it's always you flapping your gills at me, Skilla. Don't listen to her gals. Your backup vocals are the backbone of this act. I've got the voice, you've got the music, we've got the magic. Let's give her a little taste, huh? Okay, again. Oh, she's doing the siren attack straight away. How dare you. Oh, see, so that attack she does with the guitar, I always think she's going to dash directly towards me, but she changes direction. Do you know this song? It really reminds me of the Call of Duty Zombies uh, Easter egg song, which sounds really nerdy, but it really does. Yeah, look, you changed direction there. And that you don't seem to be able to dodge over very easily. Ah, I just can't dodge that. It's so difficult, man. Okay, there you go. I got it that time. What are you doing now? Okay, you're doing multiple attacks at once. We don't like that, do we? Oh, God. Okay, we're very near to dead. We do have a respawn, remember? So we're not dead dead, but... Damn it. Right. We're doing well, we're doing well. Let's just keep this going. Okay, you're dead, good. Okay, 
Is that you dead as well? Oh, uh, what have you done? Count right now. Damn it, I can't stand still for long enough to make this work. You're so close to dead, why you spawn all these on me? Yes, we did it! Only just, but we did it. Okay, Sirens Vanquished. Beautiful stuff. We're making it further in this run. We're making it further in this run. Beautiful. Okay. Not much else to see in this room. Let's go down. Okay, next floor. Completely new area to us here. Very little health to uh, to guide us through this area. Is there a healing pool in here? Yes, there is. 25 HP. Very, very nice. Okay, down we go. Don't the Fields of Mourning. Oh, that does do damage. I just wanted to check. <laughs> oh, this is very wide open. This is strange. Got a blood pool here. Okay. This is feeling like a big old boss arena with all of these spectators on the side of the bouncy. Interesting. Thought that was you. Ah, hello. Right. You again. What? Are you concerned my task just isn't difficult enough? Going a bit too swimmingly? Actually, yes, I was a little worried about that. You got past the sirens. What next? You go kill Kronos, and then what? Come on, babe. Let's not do anything rash. Bye now. Bye bye. Okay, so she gives us that curse again. Curse. So I'm guessing basically this is this is an interesting way of sort of making sure you don't progress through the game too quickly. Essentially, you gain this curse here. Um. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's kind of an interesting way of, like, keeping the lore in check, like, to make sure you don't, like, just do really well and beat Kronos on your first try. I mean, I'm sure you could if you just didn't get hit, but I, I, I kind of like that. It's an interesting way of doing it. Make sure you can't progress too far too quick. Right, what the hell was it? There it was. Proceed through here. You got a Daedalus and money this way. What's this? Oh, we can, like, use this as a weapon. Golden petals on the ground. Ah, I see them. Yes, I see them. Some enemies here to take care of. Thank you for that. Okay, so this is this is very much an exploratory area. We want to be uh, checking out what's going on around here. Interesting. Okay, golden petals lead from there. I'm checking everywhere I can here. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Very nice. There's our Daedalus. Unseal. Oh, very interesting enemy designs here. Do like that AoE. I just need to improve that. Ooh. We've got this uh, witch doing some interesting stuff here. Let's not get hit by any of these if we can help it. That was very bad timing for me to grab that flower there. I don't really know why I did that. Frozen. I need to use the freeze way more often. It's very useful. Even if I'm not doing easy, it's to deal damage. Like getting armor off of an enemy by freezing them and then doing that seems very valuable. So there's our Daedalus unlocks. Uh, hold attack to repeatedly slice but cannot use. I mean, I don't really use that one anyways. Um, in each encounter, it gains 5 power for each before you slay. The last strike 
You know, attack sequence. Oh, we'll go for that, actually. Where's the last one? That's huge, yeah. A lot of AoE, as I was saying, is kind of what I needed with this. Can't proceed yet. There it is. Yeah, why not? So I can use these trees now, can't I, to do a bit of damage to enemies. Mourners. We are in the fields of mourning, makes sense. I say, I wouldn't mind losing the ability to do that, to be honest. It's not that powerful. Be a little careful around these guys. Again, always want to freeze to rip off armor, and then we can stun lock. Oh my god! Okay, that guy annihilated me. <laughs> I did not expect that. I thought he was still frozen, but clearly not. Last. Oh, hello. Princess of the Underworld. I regret having to contact you at such a time. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. Moments of doom? Your Lord Moros, emissary of the Three Fates. So your sisters heard me after all. Interesting. One second. Bloody scam callers. Anyways, let's continue on. What's going on with this person? They expected me to find you. For there's something Doom incarnate. For you to have. Wherever you're going, look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. It's been an honor. Wait. Offer received. We are back. I'm glad we're making progress each episode, though. This is good. He's gone. Hey, little froggy. I just met Doom Incarnate, Freenos. I'm not sure I should be excited about that. <sighs> I love the little frog. You there, Dora? No, I don't think Dora's here this time. Oh, what's is this? That? This is from the Three Fates. Ah, nice. These are like quests we can accept here, so we can claim the rewards here for these two. And then these are the ones, the ones that we can claim later. We don't have to actively pick them up. They just kind of are always active. That's good to see. Hello again. The fates indulged you after all. That is their scroll beside your tent. It followed you out of the shadows. Perhaps it can provide some answers. Seems Would useful to me. The fated list has tasked me with ensuring certain minor prophecies are fulfilled. Though says little else as yet. May it reward your efforts at least. But do not expect the fates to always favor you. The bane of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. Seems that way. Right. Our chances. Let's see what we got here. How to find my way in the morning fields. So, we got the forget-me-not, which is improve your memory, press triangle on recipes at a glance to remind what resources you need. That's kind of useful. Exchange plants and other goods. That's kind of good. Um, and make use of the golden... Um, oh, okay. You probably want to go for that to start with. Fields of morning, we need all the help we can get. I guess we'll just go for the rest of them. It's why we've got these plants, isn't it? We might as well. Yes. It is done. Good, good. I love the way that this game works with meta progression and unlocks. It's good. Hello, hello. So I can uh, trade nightshades away. Kind of useful. I'm going to go for some Nexa here. And... Let's go for some Ashes. Take cool. Care, Thank you. Goddess. Hello once again. This troubling report. A sighting in the pathways on the outskirts of Erebus. Did our eyes out there see true? And they did. If it's Kronos that they saw, then yes. Now at least I know what he looks like. But he knows me in turn. Why do you think he let me go? Have we been compromised? No one gets into the crossroads whom we don't permit, or can even know we're here. Not even him. So he's sniffing around? Fine. He wastes his time whilst you get closer to your mark. 
lovely stuff. Of wasting time. We can admire it, I kind of like that. Let me harvest. But we can plant in new ones in both of these now. Good stuff. Okay, we'll head on through here. We can try out another new weapon here. What say the cards this eve? We've got nowhere near enough to do that. Um, okay, what we got going on here? Let's have a look see. Well, this one doesn't take up anything, so I think I'll go for that. I can't. Oh, uh, why not? It says it doesn't take up any. Let's take off that and put that on. Why can't I uh, put that on? It says it takes up zero. No use. Oh. Cards that use zero and auto activate, but only if the condition is met. Activate cards that use one through five. Ah, interesting. So I've got to go one, two, three, four, and five. So I need to unlock this one as well. Or this one. Okay. That, a bit of waste of money there, but a learning experience nonetheless. That's fine. That's fine. Right. What we got going on in here? What secrets lie within? Well, we got enough to get the Moonstone Axe now as well. Right. I think I definitely so want to use that on our next adventure out. That seems very, very cool. <laughs> With honor. I like that. <laughs> so I can press triangle to defend, hold it to spin and then do that. That just ensnares. No this will be the same, won't it? And then I can dash and then square for an uppercut strike. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think we'll definitely uh, use this in the next adventure out. I think for now we're going to leave it off there. I hope you guys did enjoy another episode of Hades 2. As I said before, if you're enjoying this, please remember to leave a like and stuff. I don't normally ask for that stuff, but I really want this series to do well. And I hope that you guys are really enjoying it, because I am thoroughly enjoying it myself. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.